Hey guys, Sponge Murphy here. So over the next couple of weeks I'm going to be doing a set of videos looking at some of the new units, or in this case model, from the new Age of Sigmar starter set. I'm going to be looking at the models, I'm going to be looking at the details, talking about them a little bit and comparing them to other size models that I have from GW as well. So this week I have Lord Celestine on his massive Dracot. Now this model is an absolute beast literally in size and in trying to put it together um, it looks fantastic when it's done um, a lot of people are kind of unsure about this guy but I think it's really nice it's something different it kind of looks like a mix between like a dragon and a demigriff maybe if you will um, you know Lord Celestine on, on top of him is fantastic he has lots and lots of detail on his armor he has like the banner on his weapon and everything and plus it's on a massive 90mm base as well so that's pretty cool the big oval base you know he has lots of detail on his armor you can see there it focuses uh, the drag god himself his head is huge it's massive and um, you know the model is nice it's big it looks cool putting it together is a different story um, he was very tricky to put together um, and saying that you know there's parts in it that aren't really looking right um, if you can see there there's a big gap in his neck that you know it's not my, I'm pretty sure it's not my fault it just looks like it's meant to be there um, you can see here on the side if it'll focus down along there there's a lot of glue where I had to hold it for a long time it doesn't fit in quite snug um, I think it's the same on the other side. I did have to really put a decent amount of glue on it to get it together. Um, this horn doesn't really fit in too much perfect there. Maybe it just could be me just after bending it. Um, his cloak on the shoulder, it doesn't fit snug. It did, but it has to be held pretty firm and it just didn't really work. So it's kind of like it's a little tiny bump going over onto the clock which is a pity um, it would have been really really nice um, apart from them bits I think the rest of it went together pretty decent it's very you know it's put together very different it's not straightforward you have like a side part and um, like the instructions for this is like three or four pages long I'll just have a look at one two three pages um, so you know it is kind of a bit of a tricky one to put together it actually took quite a while longer than they took but um you know it's put together now it's really nice looking um it's definitely a nice kind of centerpiece for your stormcast eternal army um i'm a big fan of the dracot i like it the horn is annoying me i have to try and i'm gonna have to fix that after this video um whatever type of monster it is it's badass i like this i like his big claws on, the, on his feet and everything you know and the tail and everything is pretty cool um, so yes that's it for the model just on a comparison size let's just have a look at them compared to the blood reavers from the car inside um, it towers over him it's absolutely massive compared to him there we go um, you know, even the Stormcast guy is a lot bigger than the Corn guy. So, uh, so let's have a look at the normal one. So first off, we have the Villager guy, who, to be honest with you, you could probably nearly fit under Dracot's belly nearly from the way he's posing. He's that small. And um, next up is the Spaceman compared for size towers over him obviously you know it pretty much towers over a lot of these even the terminator it does look very small it is a monster after now the ogre kind of not the ogre still looks small compared to him you know it looks like it could you know fight well against it maybe but it's still a lot bigger than him now the biggest one here that i can compare it to is the demon prince now I know Dracot is kind of standing on a bit of a terrain piece there 
bit of a ledge or whatever so he is a little bit higher but the demon prince pretty much nearly goes head to head with him you know put them like that they're almost they're almost the same size so okay uh, comparing sizes the demon prince is the closest thing that kind of fits the size of it Um, yeah he's a great little centerpiece model for your army great leader looking man I like the Dracot, I think he's cruel. Ugh, Dracot, I think he's cool, not cruel. And um, the tail is a nice little feature on it and everything. You know, and he has the armor pieces on him as well. Let me see the Sigmar. Full focus. You can see the Sigmar stuff and everything on it. It's really nice looking. And you have the hammer as well. Nice details on the armor there. So, um, yeah, so that's it for Lord Celestine and his Dracot. Um, I like him, he's pretty cool. Um, it's nice to have a bit of a like a monster model for the Stormcast of Harnels. I would like to see like a bigger one, but for now this one made it is you know he's a nice little filler for it. So um let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment below, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't. And as usual, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next update.